was my second year as a middle school counselor. I was sitting in my office, and I heard a knock at the door. In walks a seventh grader. Let's just call them Chris. Chris sits down, looks up at me, and says, "Miss Kennedy, it's easier pretending to be a boy than it is to be gay in this town." Whoa! I was a fraud. Here I have a seventh grader bearing their soul to me. I, at the time, was a 40-year-old woman of white privilege, and I still wasn't out to my students. A fraud. I looked over at my desk, and I saw a little orange sticker. The little orange sticker is from the Trevor Project. The Trevor Project is the nation's leading suicide prevention hotline for all youth. Who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning. I know it's a lot of letters. We just call it LGBTQ. And there was a statistic that I remembered from the Trevor Project: one supportive adult, just one supportive adult, can reduce the suicide attempt rate by 40 percent. Four zero. Percent. Was I going to be that adult for that seventh grader? You bet. That night I went home, and I thought about myself growing up when I was in seventh grade. I grew up in rural Wisconsin, and really the only thing I was pretending in seventh grade was would I marry a dairy farmer or a pig farmer? Neither of them happened. <clears throat> I also remembered a conversation I had in 1996. This was before Chris, my seventh grader, was even born. And Thanksgiving dinner, 1996. Picture this: we're sitting around the Thanksgiving dinner table. Conversation ensues. I happen to mention that I couldn't find a boy that I wanted to date. Didn't like any boys anyway. My sister, who's older than I am, looks at me and says, "Well, da, Lisa, it's because you're gay. Please pass the carrots." <laughs> so, okay. So I picked up the carrots, passed them to my sister, and burst into tears. True story. Where I grew up, there was no option of being gay. I had no allies that I could look up to, so from that moment on, I knew that allies can save lives. Three ways that you could be an ally that saves lives would be by showing you're an ally, shifting mindsets and perceptions, and shaping policies and procedures. There's no test, but I'm going to go through that with you tonight. The first way that you could show that you're an ally. Is by wearing a rainbow ribbon. You don't have to go out and get a snazzy jacket like this, but if you want to, that's fine. You could also display a rainbow sticker or even a rainbow pin. Anything rainbow symbolizes to us in the LGBTQ community that you are an ally, you are a safe person, you are probably a friend. So. We kind of like rainbows. I was reminded of this after a friend of mine sent me a text. She sent me a text saying that she had read one of my blogs that I had written regarding being an ally, and the article I had written talks about going out and wearing a rainbow ribbon. So she did just that. She went out that night, got herself a rainbow ribbon, put it on her lanyard. And she did a training for her new staff, an onboard training. And after that training, this is what she's telling me in the text: two people came up to her and said, "Thank you, thank you for being an ally. We weren't sure what this company was going to be like and what this culture would be, but now we know that it's going to be safe for us because you are an ally. You are wearing a rainbow ribbon." 
the power of the rainbow. Allies save lives by showing that you're an ally. A second way that you can save lives is by shifting mindsets and perceptions. All of us here are probably allies, I'm guessing, in some sense or manner of the word. A small a ally is someone who might hear a homophobic joke or see a homophobic meme. And maybe they don't know what to say or they can't say anything, even though they know deep down in their heart that it's just not right. Now, if you were to shift from a small A ally to a capital A ally, this is what a capital A ally would do in that same situation. A capital A ally would hear that homophobic joke and say, time out, not cool, knock it off. A capital A ally would see a homophobic meme and maybe send a private message to the person who posted that and said, can you take that down? It's insulting. That is what a capital A ally does. My shift happened from a small A ally to a capital A ally that day that I came out to my seventh grader. And in my mind, it made me think about the policies that that student had to endure. So the third way that allies save lives is by shaping policies and procedures. My guess is that all of you at one time or another have filled out an intake form or a registration form. Somewhere on that form, there's probably a drop-down menu, and for gender identity, it'll give you a couple of options. Male, female, and other. Now, I don't know about you, but I certainly wouldn't want to be considered an other. What if that word other were changed to the word custom? That would be fantastic. Then anyone who is filling out an intake form or a registration form could identify however they want to. Doesn't have to be male, doesn't have to be female, because I guarantee you, my friends, you're going to see a lot more people who are not identifying just in those two terms. That would be fantastic. When I think about the places that I want to work, or even that I want to volunteer at, one of the first things that I do is I look at their policies. I'm weird like that. And in their policies, I take a look at their non-discrimination statement. Is sexual orientation, gender identity, gender nonconformity, are those things listed in their policies? Are they enumerated out? If so, I know that that is where I want to work, I want to volunteer, that's where I want to spend my time. So as we changed our policies for our seventh grader, I am so happy to say that Chris graduated with honors, going on to do great things. I encourage all of you to think about how you could shift from a small A ally to a capital A ally. Could you show that you're an ally? Maybe shift some perceptions and mindsets? If you can shape policies, that is fantastic. And I know that I've talked about the LGBT community, but just think about a different marginalized population, because if you show, shift, and shape for that population, you are an ally who will save lives. Thank you.